Hello fellow editors who happen to use Vegas. Spencer Smith here with another Vegas tutorial from UMP. Let me tell you, I have been using the latest version of Adobe Premiere. And yeah, Vegas is still Vegas is still my number one. And even more so now after using that for a uh, weekend. So, so with that said, we are going, this tutorial is about rendering, rendering your files out of Vegas for YouTube, for internet, for hard drive. Um, not something that you have to render it again or, or sync it into again like a DVD or Blu-ray. So here we go. I know a lot of people say, this is the best, this is what you need to use. This is what... Uh, what gives you the best for for rendering? It's crisper, it's cleaner, or whatever. But each have have their pros and cons. There's about two, maybe three, that really get it right. I mean, there are there are some that just don't work. But instead of saying this works, that works, I'm gonna narrow it down to the top two that uh, that under movie thinks is is the best. So to do that, you're gonna go to file and then render as, file render as. The first one we're going to use is QuickTime 7, and that's MOV. Now we're gonna go to the customizations, and we're gonna keep uh, the frame size to the, the standard high definition of 1080, and then we're going to, the for the film, for the frame rate, we're going to use the standard for film. Pixel aspect ratio is going to be one. Keep that nice and square. Then we're going to uh, for quality 100 percent. If we're going to compare um, QuickTime to anything, we have to have it at its best, and uh, definitely, definitely uh, have it on 100 percent. And then data rate unconstrained. Okay, so that's good. The other one we're going to be using is the main concept mp4 so let's click on that and we're going to go to its customs the frame rate is again standard for film and the frame size is the custom or the uh, standard high definition for the variable bit rate we're going to leave it at, at um, 20 million which seems like a lot but that's uh, that's only a uh, 20 megabytes per second. So then we're going to go to audio, and the sample rate in Hertz is going to be at 88,200, and bit rate at uh, almost 400,000 and a half. Um, the MOV only goes up to 48,000 for the sample rate in Hertz. So I mean, this isn't at the max, but the other one is. So we're just going to keep that right there. Um, okay. So that, those are the two best uh, setups for rendering uh, known to UMP. And from UMP's viewpoint. So we actually have two videos already set up. We have them side by side. I'm not, it's not the exact frame, but it is very close. Now, as you can see, um, Mauve being on the left and your MPEG-4 being on the right. Your MOV, I don't know if you can see it on YouTube as this, but the MOV has a little bit more color and is a little bit darker. And the MPEG-4 is a little brighter and lacks a little bit in color. Now, comparing them side by side like this isn't the, uh, is, isn't the main purpose. What you need to compare it to is your original project because your original project is what uh, is what you're going to be rendering from. You want it to match up as, as much as it can. So if we bring if we bring this up and kind of compare it to kind of compare it to this, we can we can see that this has a little more color than this. This is a little more color and it's uh, it's a little harder to see to see the gravel. And, Every, everything on the ground because it's a little darker. You're, the dark spots are, are darkening. You're lacking. Uh, you're gonna lack a little bit of definition here, but the contrast is uh, has a higher range and there's a little more color. And that's not always a bad thing. 
Now, if we compare our original clip to the other, the other rendered version, which is the MPEG-4, let me just slide this over here. Uh, this is slightly brighter. We can see a little bit more. We can, I can see a little more of the uh, of the clips right here. We can, see, I can see a little bit more of the ground. But this is lacking color compared to the original project. Uh, we figured out that the MPEG-4 is a little bit brighter and lacks a little more color than the original project. And the mauve is a little darker, but uh, stands out more in color and contrast. So one isn't better than the other when you're looking at the mauve and the M MPEG. If you're, let's say, if you're filming anything film noir, or maybe a horror movie and you have a lot of dark pictures, you might want to render in MPEG-4 because you have a lot of dark shots and a lot of things are subtle. You have a lot of um, things that aren't, that aren't in plain sight or lit properly because you want to have that unknown kind of feel or whatever. With that said, you might want to render those in the MPEG-4 because they're brighter. The mob. sometimes you might find that the mob will drown out some of the details in, in the darker images that you need to see. So on the flip side, if you're filming something, I don't know, that would have the color or consistency or brightness of a chick flick or, or something of that nature, you might want to actually film with the mob over here because there's more contrasting color and you don't and you won't need to worry that much about your images or your brightness um, but they're both they both come pretty close to their their clarity and and the blur and everything else like that um, so when you're looking at that uh, from from viewpoint none is better than the other you just have to know what is good what is good for what scenario. Another thing about these two is the f actual uh, file size. When we were rendering these, uh, one took a lot longer than the other. Uh, I mean a lot longer, like a little more than three times longer. Uh, the the MPEG-4 took 10 minutes to render, a little over 10 minutes to render this uh, 37 second clip while the MOV only took three minutes to render the clip. Um, and the, the frame, or the, the size of the file, the MPEG-4 is only uh, 84.3 megabytes, while the MOV is 174. So like 90, 90 more uh, megabytes for size. So there's a there's a little pros and cons for it too. You have a smaller file size that takes almost a little more than three times the time to render. Um, so those are two other things you might want to keep in mind if you're rushed for time or anything like that. But uh, I think I think uh, with that said, you'll know what you need to do for um, for rendering. Hopefully that helps. And we have a lot of questions on how to keep your file sizes down. If you keep these templates, your file sizes won't be, you know, 16 uh, gigabytes for a, you know, for a 15 minute clip. All right, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, check back for more tutorials. Bye.